it's so lovely to have you with us. How on earth are you? My name is Rebecca Redican, but you can call me Becky. And if you are in the mood to get craft in, I tell you what, what a perfect show for it. This is our craft along today. Now, if you are just tuning in and maybe you've just stumbled upon us, oh, what a great day to do so. It's our final day of double points here at Crafters TV. So that means if you're gold and you're reaching to become that platinum, today is your day that you could do it. And don't forget, we've got Sarah's nice list too, where you at home can win some prizes just by commenting on our social media pages. So get yourself down onto our socials. Let us know where you are. We've already said hello to Renny, hello to Alison. I've got Gemma in from Chesterfield. It's so lovely to have you all on board. Let us know where you are, what you're up to, and if you're crafting along, we'd love to hear from you for that chance to win some of the um, treats from Sarah's nice list. And of course, for the craft along, we have got our craft expert who's gonna be teaching you how to to make a stunning piece and today it's my pleasure as always to be joined by Debbie Fisher. Oh hey. hi Bill, how are you? I'm so good, I love this make you've got today. Do you know what Becky, uh, I love projects like this and I really wanted to share it with you so I these I have to, uh, in fact I've got a little bit of a story about this, when I was asked to do this my first thought was oh, I can't do that show, I, I can't do it because I can't do brush lettering. I can't do it. Right, yeah. So I had to email in and say, um, are these brush lettering? Do I have to do these words myself? And they was like, no, they're new stamps that are coming out. Phew, I said, I could do that show. <laughs> uh, I'm not very good at brush lettering. So if you're like me out there and you can't do this amazing script that we've got on here, we're going to show you just how easy it is to do. Now, this project is a card. We're doing an easel card, but it's a draw easel card. So you've got your piece in here that you can put your extra pieces into um, but we're going to shake it up even more because I've decided that we're going to do it with the gorgeous papers here so Yay! we've got the gnome papers and we're going to be switching it out a bit we're doing a Christmas make so this exact design we're going to be doing but we're going to be using these papers so if you do want to craft along another day or make it another time exactly what I'm doing today these are the paper pads for you uh, so we're going to start with our shopping list of what you're exactly uh, what you need so obviously you can use anything that you've got at home we're using the so we've got on there it's a happy birthday but I'm actually switching that out with the Merry Christmas we're going to do a Christmas make but you can use whichever one you want uh, we've got the Sharon Callis butterflies and blooms the climbing rose uh, you need some A3 Centura pearl uh, it can be a hint of gold hint of silver it's the A white uh, A4 white our stamping card our 12 by 12 and our 12 by 12 but it in the gnomes so we're going for the gnomes I'm just going to read out the actual um, page so it's the pearl card stock in the 12 by 12 and we're using the paper pad in the 12 by 12 uh, and then we're going to use uh, the Harmony quick drying ink pad collection of the Oasis parakeet and lagoon and then we're going to use a Harmony pigment uh, lagoon ink pad as well and then what you're going to need is obviously a fine black liner which I've forgotten to bring mine so apologies I will try and find one our scoreboard our guillotine our stamping platform or rocker blocks whichever suits you uh, clear air embossing powder heat gun quilling tool your some brads and ribbon but obviously these are only things that you might have in your stash a pokey tool your tapey pe tape pen your glue uh, tacky glue and your red liner tape and all these things uh, are going to help you to make this creation so uh, craft along with me, it'll be fun. Absolutely. So we're going to give you a couple of moments for you to be able to get all of those treats and goodies together. And don't forget, use what card and paper you've got. If you do want this professional finish with the blush, brush lettering, then I have got the set here for you today. This is a professional finish every single time. The thing that I adore about this is the fact that you are getting something really legible, really crisp, that you can use as individual stamps. So you can layer them up as you can see on the front, but you can of course use them individually as well. With this deal, you're buying them, you're getting the two of them for free. This is a big saving that you're getting on this one. And it is a year round treasure, it really is. So you've got lots of Merry Christmases, but you've also got things like thinking of you. 
you as well as happy birthday and so much more. So all of these you are going to be getting in the collection. You're getting the larger stamp and that wonderful brush lettering as well, which you can use all year round. $47.94 or $59.70. Now, if there are two that are really speaking out to you, may I suggest to you the multi-buy option? You can get them, two of them for 14 or you can get them um, for £17 uh, pounds or dollars, uh, sorry. So £14, pounds, $17. Dollars. So the thing with this is if there's just two that are speaking to you, then of course you can just grab those two. Head on and have a little look online if you wish. It is Crafters, of course, Crafters Companion. So do have a little nosy for that if you so wish. And we haven't just got that. As you've seen in the make, we've used different papers. Today, actually, we're going to be crafting with our relatively new gnomes paper pads. Now, these are so special we have got 12 by 12 inches on these ones and i want to bring to you the patterned one at first if i may so these ones we've got here a big selection of your designs and colors we'll talk more about them but can you see double-sided designs here We'll be working with this one shortly, but if you do want to seize the moment on this, this is the uh, Gnome 12 by 12. For all of these pages, double-sided, you have got just 12.99. Um, or um, if you're platinum, that's only £10.39. Oh my no. So you can seize the moment on that. I have also got the blank colour um, pieces too. So these are the colours that are complementary. We haven't just sort of thrown these in together. We've taken the hard work out of it for you. So I have also got the matching colours in here, 24 pages in these ones in total. That's 14 at 99 or 19.95. And don't forget, it's your final day of your double points. So do seize the moment on that. So have you got everything you need in front of you? Are we ready and wearing to go? Let's head on over to the fish to see what the first steps of this make are. Yay! Let's get going because it's so exciting when we do a craft along. And can I just say to everybody that voted for us, it's amazing that our craft along uh, is up for an award. So uh, that's super exciting. That's as well as the other 10 that we have. But it's absolutely <laughs> incredible that our craft along, uh, considering it's not been going such a long time, is amazing. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm taking my A3 piece of Centura and we're going to place this into our our large guillotine. Now we're going to cut this at nine and a half inches square. So, oh, need my foot out. Let's just bring that foot and pop that out. Uh, and then we're going to take that to nine and a half inches and trim that down. And then turn that round and trim to nine and a half inches again. And there we go. And I'm just going to, you know when you doubt yourself that I trimmed at nine inches? No, it was nine and a half. I thought I'd done it nine by nine and a half then. Uh, so that's our first piece of card. The next thing we're going to do is take our scoreboard. So I'm just going to quickly just recap on that. You're going to take your A3 piece of Centura and you're going you're gonna to cut that to nine and a half inches by nine and a half inches. Okay? Okay. Then we're going to grab our scoreboard and on our scoreboard we're going to do this. Now, with a scoreboard, you do need to have your box lid and base. So at the bottom here, we've got our box lid and we've got our base. So the actual cardstock itself, we're going to pop, put to our box lid. So as we put this side on, we're going to score, I need my scoring tool in there. We're going to score this at two inches. So two inches from top to bottom. And I always give that two lots of scoring. And then again, turn it round onto your two inches and score down. And remember, any questions you have throughout, let us know because we will um, absolutely answer anything you need. We will indeed. We've already got people saying, Lisa is saying, hi everyone, it's my first craft along. I thought I would see what it's like. The weather is awful in south of England, wet and thundery. Ah, oh, not nice at all. No, but first one to join us, great one. Ah, oh, how lovely. Now, what I'm going to do is because, although this is Centura Pell because I wanted the big piece of cardstock, I actually want to use the white side. Now, this is because I want to stamp onto here. Now, if I stamped onto Centura 
Ventura Pearl, I would have to do that with my pigment ink pads to heat emboss it. So I'm going to stamp onto the, and, and actually another little story, I'm full of stories today. Um, <laughs> the white side of your Centura Pearl is our white stamping card. It's where our white stamping card originally come from because people said they like the, chalk, the chalky finish of the back of our Centura. So we then come up with just having white cardstock instead of Centura. Ah. So I'm going to turn this over and we're going to score again on the back. Now the reason I do this is because it helps to not split the cardstock on either side. So by doing this, it means my cardstock will go backwards and forwards. So your box will be really strong. So just doing that again. Okay, so we're going to score on all four sides. So just a quick recap, nine and a half by nine and a half. And then we've scored on your box lid side at two inches in all the way round on all four sides. Then we're going to score these up and burnish. And then up and burnish, up and burnish. And the same for the last piece. Now, you may do your boxes differently, but I will show you how I do mine. So, just take one of your corners, uh, and what I do is I cut where my, I cut actually off the score line. So, you cut on the left side of that score line up to your middle section and then I take a triangle out of there and then I cut my sides in. I just That creates a really neat side but what it also does is if my box is out and that's not because of my scoreboard, that's because of my cutting, it means I've got a little bit of wiggle room to mm. get that in and out by taking that extra piece off. Great, and then I rotate and take it out. Now some people like to cut one side off, then the other side off. I just rotate mine and it just creates a really neat uh, section. Again, rotate, cut that up, the score line, and it means you will get a neat uh, box every single time. And then our last one, cut that section off and nip in. And there's our box done. So this is what's going to act as your drawer. So you can see this is the drawer piece that will go in and out uh, of your section here. So you can see it's the Centura Pearl, which is lovely on the inside. But it means we can do our stamping on the outside. So what we're going to do is before we put the box uh, together, our drawer together, we're actually going to stamp on it. So we're going to use one of our sections to stamp on. And I'm going to bring in my, um, I might just use my rocker blocks for this actually. So I'm just going to pick my biggest rocker block and then we're going to use this Merry. Now you can choose, oh in fact before we do that let's choose what cardstock we're going to use because I want the cardstock uh, to match up with my papers and because literally I only decided this to, this morning. I thought instead of using the papers that I've used on my box, let's make a Christmas make. So let's have a look in our papers, choose what we've got. Now I do have some turquoise, a turquoise bow. So I'm thinking let's do sort of a pretty sort of blue one. So I'm just flicking through um, and seeing which ones, oh that's really, oh that's nice as well. We could do a pinky blue, couldn't we? That's quite <laughs> There's nice. There's so many options, isn't there with Pink's this? It's lovely. Oh it's all so lovely, look at that. <laughs> That's really nice as well. Let's do something nice and bold. So this stripe one, this this is a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they're all lovely, aren't they? That's the thing. So we've got a blue, a darker blue and our lighter blue. So, oh, I like that one too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Look at that. I think oh, this is the I hardest try... part, working out, do because it all works so mind? well together. Which yeah, one is? That, I love this one. I think <laughs> we're going to use this one. So, let's take a sheet of this one. Not that it matters, and you can use whatever pad you've got in your stash. And then we want to mat and layer as well. So, I'm going to choose, let's just have that gorgeous blue at the back. We'll have that to mat and layer pop that to the side. So we've got our first piece. So now I know what my colours are. I know then I'm going to bring in the colours that I've got. You will use whichever ones you've got in your stash. But I have got to hand all my blues. Um, now I haven't got my quick drying with me, but I do have the um, pigments. But you can use whichever ones. We've got some inks on the show as well. If you're new to uh, stamping, there's lots of quick drying inks. Um, so we're going to use these to start with. Uh, and I'm going to go in with my uh, darkest one. Let's have the darkest one. So let's just take that merry 
I've chosen my papers, so we'll just pop them to the side for the second. And then we're going to have our Mary there. I'm going to pick that up. I'm just going to make sure that's straight. So I'm going to pop that on the line of my glass mat. Uh, and then when I know that's straight, I can pick that up and place it onto the line. I'm using my rocker blocks, but I'm placing it onto that line so I know that's a completely straight line. Now, my card is square, is uh, nine and a half inches square, so I know it doesn't matter what side that I, um, I uh, use it onto. Uh, and I'm just making sure that I've got that where I need it, right in the centre. Yep, perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the darkest one of our inks. And what I would suggest is going for a set of three inks because we're going to be using like the light, the medium and the dark. Oh, well, that's handy because the one at the bottom of your, um, of your screen right now, that's six that you're getting there. And you do get the noir black for free. So if you do want that at the bottom of the screen, you deal today. Oh, that's good. Yeah, always amazing offers and amazing inks. So I'm just making sure I've got that straight. Um, with my, because I'm using my rocker block, I'm literally, I've got this bit down. This bit is not down. And we're going to rock from heel to toe. And I'm just pressing in the middle to make sure that all goes into there. And then we get that beautiful uh, Mary there. So there we go. How beautiful does so that crisp. look? So crisp. Right, so we can now put this card together. So what your little tabs, at the side oh one more thing I want to do which I'll show you all I've done is I put brads on the uh, the list uh, because I've just put a couple of brads each side that make it look a bit pretty okay so what we're going to do and it's easier to do before you put your box together is I'm just going to put a little hole with my pokey tool so just hold it and put that hole down and I'm going to do it again on this side because if you leave it till afterwards um, it just makes it harder to push that through and then we're going to turn that over and all these sides, let's burnish these sides back in. There we go. And we're going to glue these and that will be the first section of our demo done. So I'm going to bring in my tape pen. Just making sure I've got my lined one. So I'm using the lined one. Uh, these are great for construction because they're very strong. So I know that it's no problem at all to use uh, that one. I've just put a little bit of glue on the inside. We don't want that, so I'm just going to brush that away so it doesn't stick where I don't want it to stick. I'm putting plenty of glue on so I know that I'll hold because it is a drawer that you're going to be opening and shutting. And then our last one. And then we're going to pop that together. So all you're going to do, you want your sides to be flat. So you put it to the edge and then you use your finger to just pop that into line. You can see you get that perfect, absolutely perfect line of making your draw. Oh, do you know what I've done, it's the Becky? Mary upside down. <laughs> do you know just what? I'm noticed. going to be completely honest. As soon as she stamped it, I thought, no. Is that right? And then Can I looked at it again I and I was that? like, yeah, but I thought it was like a lovely little, you know, the didn't fish twist. Think, no, no, I didn't really? even think about that. So as you can see, as I stuck that, my Mary's upside down. Do you know what? Um, I'm glad I've done it because it just shows that if you've done it at home, you can absolutely counteract that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to stamp on the other side, but this time I'm going to stamp properly. Um, and then what you can do is use a bit of your, we've got um, some pattern, because we've got our cardstock, we just layer that over, over the, the top. top so it really doesn't matter. Do you know There's what? always a solution. And actually that's a really good point too. If you had spent ages trying to do the nice lettering by hand or you'd use stencils, then actually that slight error would be a bit of a pain it might add sort of 20 30 minutes to your mate. oh absolutely but with these stamps you've literally already fixed it you yeah, know already fixed it yeah there's always a solution and I'm never one to panic about things so uh, I just laugh at my mishaps so, uh, <laughs> and actually they're always good because it shows you how they can be fixed uh, and how easy, how easily remedied it is. Yes, so. absolutely. And there we go. So we've got that on our other side. So when we go up, I should have even thought about that. I wasn't even thinking about it. So please don't worry if, you, if you've absolutely copied me and done the same. Uh, just copy me again. So there we go. So we're going to pop that one into place. 
Lily. Oh, forgot the brad holes. <laughs> so, look, see, I'm going away with myself. So, and this is why it's a little bit difficult to put through once it's done, but. It is doable. It is doable. Lily so. has just asked what shade of blue ink are you using? So I'm using, the one I'm using at the moment is the Lagoon. It's Perfect. the darkest of the um, turquoises. Great, thank you. And then we'll pop the other one in. There we go. So we've got our brad holes. There we go. And I've got ink all over my finger, so let's just give them a wipe and then we can put our box together. Uh, we nearly got through it without any mishaps. I mean, you say we nearly got through, but we are only sort of 15 minutes in to the show. <laughs> so there's still time. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> and we will do that at the end. We will cover that uh, back one as well. So I'm just making sure I give these corners a good rub, which means the glue will then, it's heat activated because it just makes it stickier. Uh, pop them all in together. And, uh, and then we've got our beautiful drawer. There we go. And all I'm going to do is reinforce them. So I'm going to use my uh, tool and where I've just put them down, I'm just going to go round and give them a rub down. Because this is the drawer that's going to be opening and closing. So you want to make sure that every part of that glue is adhered to. And there we go. So that is the first part of our make. Um, and then we'll get on to doing the rest. Fabulous. So just whilst you're there to catch up at home, let me give you a couple of opportunities to stock up your stash. I'm going to start off with stamping card. As the fish was just saying then, it's the kind of chalky finish to this that makes it so perfect to stamp onto. You saw how wonderfully crisp those stamped out. It's due to the wonderful stamp, of course, the ink, but also the cardstock. I always think when it comes to crafting, you know, if you've got one really good thing per Perfect. But if you have all things working perfectly, your pieces cannot fail. And that is what this is all about. I have got for you a massive amount in here. It's 300 GSM. Basically, if you're new, that just means it's dead strong. You can still run it through your die cutting machine, etc. But what we're bringing to you is you're buying one set of 60. Great. But actually, you're going to buy it today three times over. Yep, you are getting 180 sheets of this in total. And that is just 1998. For quality of card like this, you can spend a fair few pounds per pack. So that's an incredible deal. $29.98. And don't forget, if you're platinum, you've got that even lower price point. I want to give you an opportunity to grab your final few hours of a last chance deal. Um, as you know today, we've got some deals going on. These are some of them that will end very, very soon. It is all to do with your plates. Now, when you buy your Gemini machine, it will come with a set of plates that fit it perfectly. But you and I as crafters know that these, after a time, will naturally age, maybe even slightly warp. Update these for you if you so wish. So let me start off with the um, collections that we've got. We're going to be buying the two clear, so obviously these are clear, so it's a bit difficult to see. But we're doing the buy the clear shims, and then you're going to get the frosted plastic shim for free in this collection. Then I have got for this is for your OG, as I call it, the sort of original Gemini. So this is your um, original Gemini. That's the one that you're going to be getting. That is such a good discount deal. We've also got for you the Junior. Now, again, with these, you're getting the clear cutting plates. And just in case you are new, the clear cutting plates, they're the ones that will go on the top and the bottom of your sandwich. Um, and then you're using the plastic shim, which is your frosted shim. You're getting that again for free. So that means that you don't have to pay for this one at all. These are great discounts and what I would say is stock up whilst you can because we don't always do deals like this. Now the mid is different. I'm actually going to be bringing to you four of your plastic folders. With the MIDI, which is our hand cranking machine, you've got the um, folder that is each side. So you're getting four of those and for free, you're going to be getting that purple, um, the purple shim in there for free. So that is your extra treat. And if you are platinum, 1438 for five elements is incredible or $19.12. So you can seize the moment on those. And we don't always have offers on with these. And I would say to you, it is a great idea to stock up whilst you can. So do seize the moment on that one. 
If you are just tuning in now, we are making the most wonderful card box with the fish and we have br brought to you some real treats and deals already. One of the focals I would say is all to do with the brush letter and stamping. So I'll tell you exactly which ones you're getting. We'll talk about them and work with them more. Thinking of you, which of course you can layer up, but as you can see, they are two separate stamps. So you can use them separately. I've also got your Christmas wishes a stunning season's greetings. We've got Merry Christmas. I have also got Happy Holidays. Then in this collection, you've got, um, thank you so very much. I have got Hello from me to you. And we are bringing to you your happy birthday. So all of these you're getting in the pack. You don't have to pick your favourite. 16 elements total, $47.94 or $59.70. Unless, again, you're platinum. Don't forget, final chance for your double points. I've already had plenty of people messaging through saying that you're grabbing these today. Kyra has said, I can't wait to use these stamps. They're going to be fun. And they definitely are. If you would like to see more of the stamping, let's head on over to Crafter's Corner. I'm with you. Yeah, absolutely. Becky, do you know what I love about these stamps is you're not having to choose whether you want every day or Christmas. You're yeah. getting all of them. I Everything. don't think we've ever done that before where you're actually getting it all. And I love that idea because literally you have stamp sets that are going to last you all year round. Right, now we're going to, we've done our box drawer. We now need to do the wrap around it. So again, I'm taking a sheet of A3 cardstock. Uh, and this time we're going to butt our end up into the left side because this is going to give Give us our box side um, and what we're going to do is use this to go across so we have this piece and then we're going to come across two inches so you're going to score up um, two inches on that side and then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, burnish and or fold and burnish that so we're going to go along and fold and burnish that side down and then we're going to butt that bit up into the corner again. So making sure it's right against that edge. We're then going to come in at five and a half inches. So at five and a half inches, we're then going to score up to the top as well. And we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to fold and burnish. So I'm just making sure as I do it, can you see, if I do that, it's slightly out on that side. So I'm just going to pull that in so it absolutely marries with my edge and then burnish it. And that will just make sure that straightens my cardstock exactly where it needs to be. And then we're going to come in the same. We're going to do exactly the same step. So we're going to come in at two inches. Uh, sorry, yes, two inches. So I was going to say two and a half then. Don't want to get that wrong. Come in. I'm making sure that's butted up well. I'm then going to come in at two inches and score. So right up to the top. And again, we're going to fold and burnish that one. And each time, just making sure that marries up with our edge and run our scoring tool along the bottom. I'm making sure I've really burnished that well. And then we're gonna come down, pop that on, and this time we're gonna score at five and a half inches again. So all we're doing is repeating those steps right the way through. So nice and simple. And this gives us our lip to then stick onto the edge. So Great. all you need to do is that perfect A3 piece of card. So shall I just repeat that, Becky? Go ahead. So A3 piece of card, you're going to first of all pop that onto your side and this will just allow anyone to catch up on the scoring. You're going to then score at two inches from top to bottom. You will fold and burnish, then you butt that piece up to your end and then we're going to score onto the five and a half inch line. Again, fold and burnish. Then repeat that again by butting the end up and then opening your card out and then scoring on two inches. Fold and burnish that line and then do the same onto the edge and then you're going to score on the five and a half inches and then fold and burnish that line. So Perfect. that gives you your wrap. So the next thing we're going to do is bring in our guillotine. So bring in your guillotine here. 
And then what we're going to do, we're going to, I'm just going to check my measurements to make sure we're all fully uh, doing. So while I'm just checking, I'm just checking what we need to trim this off to, Becky. Perfect. Well, the loads of people are getting in touch with us. Diane is saying the order has been received and you've gotten yours. Congratulations to you. We've got Kathy in saying, good morning. I love doing the draw box edel cards. Make such a good uh, gift. Completely agree with that. And you could put so much in them as well, can't you? Especially with the size of the one that Debbie's doing, which is totally wonderful. Um, we've got Trade Fishing saying, I just got these in the mail and can't wait to play with them. I think there's quite a few of you who've been ordering these and treating yourself to them. A lot of you talking as well about um, the Christmas themes that we've been doing. Jerry is saying, I'm really enjoying these Christmas project ideas been nice hasn't it Jerry to see sort of the vast difference between them all um yeah there's loads of you in so uh, do keep those messages coming through because don't forget in the show I will be giving away a prize for Sarah's list and don't forget we've got three for you on the show this evening so you've got loads of chances still to win so I'm back with you lovely Debbie lovely job yes yeah, so once we've done that uh, we're going to glue this strap on now so uh, fold it over or fold it back over this strip here we're going to glue all the way down so taking our tape pen or your wet glue whichever you're comfortable in using and making sure that the very ends are completely glued because we need to have them stuck fast because we don't want them coming apart so popping them down all the way down and all you're going to do is fold this piece over which will match perfectly onto the end of your box and then I'm going to use my tool just to go over to make sure that's adhered all the way down. And we're going to trim this, but this is the easiest way to show you how to demonstrate. And then we're going to trim this part of the box uh, to five and three quarters. So because we've got a nice sharp guillotine, we will be able to uh, go through all those pieces of cardstock. So you're going to go to five and three quarter mark. We're going to pop that into place and then hold your plastic down and then we're just going to cut right the way through there and then pop that to the side so that will give you so one of these pieces I mean you could make that into another box because it's more or less the same size just a little bit shorter um, we're going to I'm just making sure I need the yeah actually we need the shorter part so if you wanted to trim that off again you've actually got two wraps in one oh great so and then this will fit perfectly let's make sure we get that into the right position that will fit with your box in and out perfect absolutely perfect and there we go so that makes your actual box front uh, with our Mary in the right place <laughs> not that one <laughs> <laughs> and we will cover that up before the end so anyone that did do that themselves and hasn't corrected it or uh, they've, they've done it the other way we will uh, use a piece of card to cover that piece up Great. so the first the next thing that we're going to do is our card blank so uh, we that we've glued those pieces together and then we're going to oh we're going to do our mats and layers for the actual sides of the box as well so uh, these pieces here so let's uh, start those the first so the, take your cardstock what you've done we've got our mats and layer one and then we've got our pattern part cardstock so we're going to take our first mat and layer here uh, and this one we are going to cut so let's do this and cut I'm just ticking off my um, uh, uh, instructions as we uh, go along so then I know where we're at so we're going to cut two mats this time we've taken our 12 by 12 we're going to cut to one and seven eighths of an inch and five and five eighths of an inch now because we're doing it in the eighths of an inch size I like to get the scoreboard so we're going to get our scoreboard and we're going to score down onto here one and seven eighths of an inch so um, you've got your one inch one and a half inch uh, so you've got one two three four five six seven which takes you to two uh, one increment before the number two and we're just going to score down there and then we're going to turn that round and we're going to score at five and five eighths of an inch so we've got our five inches one two three four five so that's one after the one and a half and just score that there now we need two of those so once I've cut those uh, we can uh, cut the other one two sides so let's bring the guillotine in 
we're going to trim those pieces. In fact, it's easier to trim it off that way. I'm going to use that score line mark and we're going to cut down there. Then we're going to trim this piece off, which was at our five and five eighths of an inch. And then all I'm going to do with that is line those two up together and cut the other one to the same size. So we've got our two mats and layers at five and five eighths of an inch by one uh, and seven eighths of an inch. So that's those two mats. And then what we're going to do is take our pattern paper and do exactly the same. But this time we're going to come in a little bit different. So with the patterns, I'm going to is one side that's probably more seeable. Uh, we're then going to come down and do that at one and three quarters by five and a half. So one and three quarters, and then we're going to do that. Although I could have done this one at um, and five and a half. That's four and a half, five and a half. Um, we could have just done that one on the guillotine. But Alicia is actually just going over uh, what you can already see they're doing. So popping that to the side, trimming that down, and then we're going to do five and a half inches by five and a half. If you do want this paper as stock, then it is on the side of your screen right now, the full pack. It's beautiful, this gnome's paper, oh, isn't it? I love it. Yeah, I think even if you want to do an everyday one, the, the papers like this you can use in your everyday crafting as well. Of course. Uh, you don't need to use those in, uh, in uh, just your Christmas crafting. No. So these will then mat and layer absolutely perfectly on top of those blue ones. So, And they're going to be acting. Actually, let's go in and do another one uh, because we can... Uh, I should have thought about that, that. We can cover the merry, yes. Yay. So let's go back in. We're going to cut those exactly the same. So we're going to do that by one and let me just uh, check one and seven eighths of an inch. So just before there. Because the drawer is ever so slightly smaller, do you have to make your mat and layers smaller or not? Uh, it wouldn't make a massive amount of difference because um, you've still got a tiny bit of the sides to, yeah. to give you a little bit more room. But um, let me just double check with that with you, Becky. So, yeah, so that would actually be the perfect size for the drawer. So thank you, Becky. So we'll go down mm -hmm. that little bit more. Let's go down to one and three quarters. And then we're going to do that one by five and a half. So five and a half, and then we will do the mat and layering. And this one will be, so we did that one and three quarters, we'll do one and a half. Oh. Uh, where did I just put that, Becky? I put it it's down. It's behind you. Is no, it? I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't I know. Oh, there it is. It's under, it got caught under there. I knew that one wasn't it because that was too uh, too small. Uh, and this one, let me just double check. We did this five and a half, so we'll do five and a quarter. So that should then be our perfect mat and layer for our one that we've done upside down. And there we go. Oh, just actually we need to take that in a little bit more at the side. So do this one. And that one. There we go. Fab. Right, so all I'm gonna do with these, uh, Becky, I'm gonna stick, we're gonna stick these to the two sides. So I'm gonna mat and layer these on top at the side, and then we've got our one to cover our merry underneath. Perfect. Oh. There are loads of you getting in touch. I like this one from Dale. Dale Hill is saying, I like this technique, but I didn't think I could do it. But after watching your demos, I think I want to give it a try. Oh, I love that. And that's the thing, isn't it? Because um, when uh, you're crafting along, it, you can follow it so simply. Yeah. And the good thing is with our craft alongs, and I don't believe anyone else does them, Becky, mm. is you can watch them back. Yeah. So even if you don't do it right or you don't follow those instructions, you literally uh, just bookmark the one that you're doing and you can watch it time and time again. You can pause and stop whenever you want to. Um, and that, for me, is, um, is just uh, priceless, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. 
Well, if you think about, you know, if you were to buy, say, a DVD, a craft DVD that would take you two hours to make that, a, you know, cost you quite a bit, quite a few pennies. But the fact that we do it and, and give that to you available whenever you want is fabulous. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so it is all doable. I think if you are new to crafting, if you're an advanced crafter, if you're someone that loves crafting, it just doesn't feel like you can do it, um, uh, please just Google our craft alongs and uh, you, have, you have so many different projects at your own speed that you can uh, craft along to. And it's interactive, so when you're watching it live, it's great that it's interactive because you can always ask me to stop, you can ask me to repeat. So exactly. anything is, yeah, yeah, and that's what I love. I yeah. mean, where else can we, we do that? It's amazing. No, it is, it's fab. It's like having a workshop in your own living room. Totally. Isn't it? And then our last one, all I've done here is cut off another one of those strips just so, I mean, you could do this anyway because it means that your box uh, will look really pretty at the back. Uh, and it will also add that little bit of uh, rigidity to yeah, your great point. box itself. That's a good point. Uh, and we'll just place that over the top. Who would have even known that uh, that had that on? No, wow. no, no second Mary on there. <laughs> and there we go. So that's our second part of the box done. We've got our beautiful box that works really well, pulling in and out uh, and onto there. So once we've um, took stock, we'll let you catch up a little bit and then we're going to get on to the second part of making that gorgeous easel card. Absolutely. And we have had people making with some of these goodies already. We've got an image from Sheila who sent in her Christmas cards using these oh look Sheila, I mean, and I don't want to knock you, Sheila, but look how simply those stamps make something look so elegant, so beautiful. Using your mats and layers, using those gorgeous reds, you've done an absolutely brilliant job there, Sheila. I agree with that, and I love how Sheila's shown how you can overlap them, but you don't have to with the Christmas wishes. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant, so Sheila. Gorgeous. Thank you so much for those. It's lovely to see in them. We've had so many people asking about this uh, paper. Sue um, is saying, hi, Sue. Sue is saying the paper combo that Debbie is using is lovely and Rebecca said I spent quite a few minutes stroking these papers when they arrive <laughs> it's no a judgment thing. it's, it's a, a thing. thing it's a thing <laughs> and a good sniff oh I can't help myself but anyway I am bringing to you today the gnomes 12 by 12 this is the pattern pad these are the ones that Debbie's been working from majoritively as you can see you've got 180 GSM on these and these are the different patterns you're getting so you can see trees on one side beautiful snowflakes on another a lot of these I think are all year round if I'm totally honest you obviously got ones you know your holiday Christmas ones but these I'm thinking striped pajamas for Father's Day you know you have got the opportunity with some of these ones to maybe take out sections as well take out the little gnomes and that could be a garden design couldn't it so there's loads in here for you to enjoy double-sided look at the different vast amount you're going to be getting all today for just 12.99 or 15.95 unless you're platinum and then it's just going to cost you a bit more than a tenner as well as this one we have got for you the vellum paper pad now these ones are eight by eight and if you've not worked with vellum before this is a great time of year to start. When we talk about vellum, we are talking about this um, uh, sort of translucent element that you're getting in here. And we're bringing to you a massive amount, your vellum sheet we have got for you, giving you lovely translucency and detail so that you can see behind these as well. And what I love with them is they are textured, they are embossed, so it gives you a pro finish every single time. These are the different designs, as you can see, you're getting those ones in there too. Not stopping there though, I've got some more of the gnome papers. And this is uh, what Debbie's also been using um, in the design when we were showing earlier on. It's the blue that we cut out earlier on. You'll be able to see that not only are these complementary in colour to the actual gnome textured um, picture pads, sorry, that we did earlier on. See how beautifully all of those go in together. But also it has got that delicate sheen to it, which just looks so pro. So if you do want that look, that's the one for you today. All of those colours in there. Then let's go kind of from winter time to summertime and I want to bring to you our beautiful range. There's been a massive influx in popularity with these kind of um, themes I would say. Um, so if you do want to get these ones now is definitely a great chance for you to do so. 
very summery indeed when you're looking at these. Oh, there's a bit running away here. Someone's been using this one. Uh, but yet yeah, you can see the different details and designs. If you did want to do your, uh, you know, memory books, etc., they're the perfect size. But you can just use sections from these as well. Again, double-sided designs for you there. Not stopping there though, we are keeping this in the great outdoors and I'm going to bring you garden party. Now this has been really popular so far this year, so maybe you're running low, you want to ensure that you're going to be able to keep working with it. This is an all round one. I have to say this is probably one of my most used ones um, um, in the last couple of months. It is perfect. Think of a time of year and this is going to cover it. Now I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about launch party tomorrow but let's just say this will go great with launch party tomorrow um wouldn't it wouldn't it talk about it launch party tomorrow i will tell you more later because i can't keep my mouth shut uh, but yeah you're getting these wonderful floral designs for all year round mother's day easter um even the likes of you know bonfire night you could you be using these for whole pads 12 by 12 today it's just 10 pounds 39 or 15 dollars 96 check out that platinum price though less than a tenner for all of this it's a great time to seize the moment let me then go completely different in design that one very delicate very dainty you could imagine that with maybe some of your lace pieces this one your chinoiserie is bold now i will let you know that it is this close to limited so literally two or three of you more need to check out and it will literally be limited so if you are thinking of it do you seize the moment when we're talking about chinoiserie we're talking about this lovely blend of textures and there's so much in here i personally look at this one and think for all of my mermaid designs i love it but of course there's the cranes in here um you're getting the parrots within this you're getting all of this because that's what the, we mean with the chinoiserie it's that joining of of uh, different cultures i suppose in a way so all of these papers you're getting within there it is bold and 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 rich and i really like that for it again 10 pounds 39 or 12 dollars 76 Finally, on your paper pads, because let's face it, we need to catch up and make sure that we've got all of our stock so that if we want to make this box card in loads of different ways, we can. I've got for you now the farmhouse. Well, the farmhouse has got such a boldness to it. You've got gingham prints in here, florals, paint splatter designs in this. It's lovely panel designs you've got as well, so you can just take out sections if you wanted to. Again, complimentary all year round. And today, oh, I love that one. Oh! Oh, put my face on it. That's lovely. We have got the whole collection there. Again, $10.39 or $12.76. We have got, I know I've given you a sort of sneaky little heads up about the launch party tomorrow, but do not forget that today I've still got treats to come. It's the Clough Inspire wrap-up event. And boy, have we got loads going on in that. Not one hour, not two hours, but three hours worth of deals. And also then you've got tomorrow, the lovely Craig is going to be on your wake up call with you. So you, again, you're going to get some great treats and some sneak peeks in that show, of course, for our lunch party tomorrow. For now, if you're still catching up, you've got to finish off that mat and layering. We will be back with you because we just want to let you know all about our Club Inspire. Because remember today, final day of it, double points for our Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. 
welcome back to you. Uh, oh, it's dead nice for you to join in. And there's loads of you who are, including Alison, saying my first ever craft along. I'm currently making notes of all of the sizes so I can make it later once the kids are in bed. That's so lovely. There's loads of you getting in touch. And that's great because don't forget, you could be added to the Sarah's list of treats. So we have got the nice list coming up for you. Don't forget, we're currently looking on our brush lettering stamp collection, 16 elements in total. We've already used one of the stamps, but we will be using more as the time goes on. So let's dive on into that with Debbie Fisher. What are we going to be doing next, please? Right, so we're going to be making our easel card. Now, what I love about this project is if you just want to make an easel card, you can just make this part of the project and see how simple it is from an A4 sheet of card to make a simple easel card. Uh, but if you do want to then do something with a gift box underneath, which just makes it that little bit more special, you've got that so you've almost got like a double whammy demo in in one craft along which I love so the first thing we're going to do we're going to trim our a5 a5 cardstock a four cardstock to nine and a half inches so just bringing that in sorry 11 11 and a half inches I think I need it for yes sorry 11 and a half inches so we're only taking off a small amount so we want 11 and a half inches and we're going to trim this down turn it round and we're going to trim it down to five and a half inches so onto the five and a half inch point and trim down. So I'll just quickly recap that. You need to cut an A4 piece of card to 11 and a half inches, turn it round and then cut that to, I've done that six and a half, haven't I? Not five and a half. Good job, like I recap on myself. <laughs> so five and a half inches. Again, I keep saying it, it's because I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> so we're going to go to five and a half inches. Okay, so you've got that piece of card. So let's pop up that out of the way then we're going to bring in our scoreboard and our scoreboard we are going to uh, score this in half so we want to score this in half at five and a half inches so just bringing this into here at yep five and a half uh, yeah I have to double check to uh, make sure I've focused on the five and a half and not the six and a half. So that's our actual card blank. So we're going to fold that in half. Uh, I've done that completely wrong, haven't I? It's five and three quarters of an inch. I do apologise. I can't do my own measurements of what's half of 11 and a half. <laughs> so five and three quarters. Okay. And then we're going to... That's better. Got that right. So sorry about that if anyone's done that. But again, it doesn't matter. That's just going to be. And what you could use that for, because you've got that slight lip in the in the side, you just use that for the inside of your card and it'll all be matte and layered. So it really doesn't, doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Great. Uh, so once you've done that, we're going to put this card back in uh, and we're going to score it in half again. So we've got our five and three quarters and then we're going to go in at halfway. So half of our five, that's two two and a half so just before uh, the three so one before the three I'm going to do that for so that's two and seven eighths of an inch and then fold that in and that will give us our piece that creates the easel card and that will sit nicely where's my box onto our box front just at the front just perfectly on the front there okay great so then what we've got to do, we need a matte layer to go on the sides of our box. So we've done our, our size here to five and three quarters by five and a half. So that's the matte layer that we need. So you'll bring in another piece of card and we're going to trim that at five and three quarters by five and a half. So five and three quarters by five and a half. And that's going to give us the perfect layer for our box, or for our card, sorry. So that one will sit directly onto the top here, and that will all be exactly the same size. So that's how you would just make your standard easel card. Perfect. So this is the piece of card that we next need to work on. So let's just pop everything to the side. I'm going to check myself off as we go along because what we're going to do now is make our um, uh, mats and layers for our actual topper sheet. So we're going to bring in those papers again. 
I'm thinking to switch this up a bit, I'm going to turn this round and have this as our base card. We're not going to see much of this. So if I bring our actual one in here, you've just got this round the edges. Yes. Um, and then we've got our mats and layers. So actually, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, we're still going to carry on using this one because it's the brightest colour. Uh, and we're going to create our mats here. So our first mat and layer, bring back in your guillotine. And our first mat and layer, we're going to cut our, oh, we need, sorry, we need our um, base card first. So this one, we're going to cut. Ah, so that's the blue from the plain pad, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, blue right. for the plain. So whatever uh, colours you've gone for in the paper pad, your coordinating papers, uh, you're going to use to do that. And we're going to cut this five and five eighths of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. So five and five eighths. So because there's not an eighth and an inch on my guillotine, we're going to bring that scoreboard in again. And we're going to cut that. We're going to do it with our scoreboard, and it means then we get our perfect mat and layers. Uh, so we're going to come in, and we're going to do our mats and layers at uh, five and five eighths of an inch. So five, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm counting for your benefit, so you know where it is. So it's one over the five and a half. So we're going to do that coming down, and then we're going to turn that round. And this time we want to do it at two and seven eighths of an inch. So we've got two and one before the three. Now I'm going to come down here because I just want to mark this line up to the line. So that will be... No, <laughs> done that totally. Let's do that the other way around. You knew I was doing it as soon as it... They're, they're laughing at me because they knew I was doing it straight away. So five and three eighths of an inch. So we're going to go across at five, one, two, three eighths of an inch. I've never be been good at maths. I'm not going to pretend that oh, I'm good no, at maths. Oh, no, me neither. Oh, it's terrible, it's these increments. And I can do basic maths, but um, yeah, don't. Uh, it's not. I'm not a mathematics, that's for sure. No. So just coming in there and trimming that piece off. So that will give us our mat and layer for our first piece of card. So if I bring this one in, turn that round, that will fit perfectly in there. We've given us that white rim all around the edge. Lovely. And then we need our next piece to go in the middle. So using that darker cardstock, pop that to the side. And this time we're going to cut this paper to five and a half by five and a quarter. So five and a half by five and a quarter. Just before you carry on too much further, mm. we've had a question. Do you mind just recapping the quick measurements on the mat and layering again, please, Debbie? Oh, yes, of those ones, absolutely. Um, and I think I'm going to get another piece of card because if we what we can do is do it, we will need to do it again for your mat and layer on the base. Oh, perfect. So, uh, yeah, so we're absolutely, so you need to do this twice. I'm just going to grab yourself another piece of that beautiful, this is gorgeous cardstock. It's like got a, um, a pearlescent sheen on it. It's yeah. really, really pretty. Um, I never realised that before. It's not like a normal pearlescent card. It's got like a, it's, if I bend it, you, it's like, got, look at that sheen on there. It's not like a normal one, but it's definitely got like a pearlized part in there. It's beautiful. It is. It's lovely. It is like the orient of a pearl, actually. You know, when we say pearlescent. Oh, I love that. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yes, it is. When we say pearlescent, it's often high shine, but on an actual pearl, it's not. And that's what that reminds me of. It's more subtle. Yeah, absolutely more subtle. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to take our uh, blue piece of card or turquoise piece of card and place that. So, recapping on our measurements, uh, we need to do this. And actually, what I'm going to do is really simplify this. So, we're going to do it five and a half by five and three quarters. So, five and a half by five and three quarters. Okay, that's our base mat and layer, and we're going to do it again. So we've got our five and a half piece because we've just cut that strip off, and then I'm going to do this five by three quarters. So you have two pieces of that mat and layer stock. Then you're going to have your patterned paper, and this time we're going to go in at uh, five and a half. So cut that five and a half, and this time we're going to go in at five and a quarter. And then we're going to bring our other piece in and do that one as well at five and a quarter. 
And that gives us our two mats and layers there. So popping them together, you'll get that gorgeous edge uh, around the actual side. And then if I bring in the base card, that will then fit perfect. Is that our base card? Um, I'm just going to double check. That looks a bit bigger. Is it? That looks bigger. It yeah, is the same yeah. size as my car, but I think I've done these. There's me saying I'm going to simplify it, and I've actually done them bigger. So what we're going to do, I've done this exactly the same size, haven't I? Five and a half by five and three quarters. Right, so we're going to take our base layer, yeah. and we're going to pop those in, and we're going to take another increment off. So we're going to do this five and a half. Right, so five and a half, and this one is going to be five and a quarter. Okay, and then the same with this one. So we're going to do this one at five and a half, and then five and a quarter. So that's our two base layers, and then we're going to bring these bits in that we've just cut, but this time we're going to go in at five and a quarter by five. There we go, and Great. then the other piece again. Bring that in and we're going to go five and a quarter by five. Perfect. Oh, Karen's saying, I think I'm going to make one of these in the peacock paper for my mother-in-law's birthday next month. Oh, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? That Those would papers are fab. amazing. Yeah. And then that will fit directly into our square piece of card with your rim. There we go. We've that got there fab. eventually all the bits going round, and they will sit onto your easel card there. And then this one will sit onto the inside. So this will be your base layer. So when you open up your card, you'll have your base layer on the inside side as well Lovely. so that's those pieces um, then what we want to do is we want to then cut another piece of white card smaller than this one. So we're going to bring in some of your off cuts. So you had some off cuts of your white card that we cut off from the um, making the actual card. Uh, and this one we're going to cut smaller than this one, which was at five inches. So we did this five by five and a quarter. So I'm going to come in a bit smaller now and we're going to come five um, there and we're going to go five and, uh, sorry, four and three quarters. So your four and three quarters is the part here, if I bring this in, is going to go on the inside of your card. Oh, I get you. Okay. okay. And that will then fit on the top there, so you'll have that rim all the way round, okay? Right, so that's all your cutting done. Hopefully everyone is up to date with that part. Now, I'm going to take, uh, let's mat and layer. So, should we do our mats and layers and create the card? Yeah. Um, and then we can um, then let everyone catch up from there. Is that good with everybody? Sounds great. Brilliant. So, let me not get all my mats and layers mixed up. I think these were the ones I did too big, and these were the ones that were the right size. So, I'm just going to double check. So, that's for that one. And that one is the same, yep, for our base layer. So we're going to mat and layer these ones together. To start with, we're going to take the uh, top layer of our card uh, and our tape pen. And we're going to glue that into place. There we go. It always seems strange to craft along, Becky, because everybody is uh, busy crafting along and it seems all very quiet yeah, uh, for our mean. shows. Our shows are normally busy with lots of people yeah. commenting. Yeah. And, uh, but isn't it nice? It's nice and just relaxed and it's like pull up a chair, make yourself a cup of tea. Just well, do you know craft what? That's along. So like what Candice has just said, Candice is saying, joining late today from Western Nebraska. We'll go back and watch from the beginning later it's so nice that we can do that thank you cc for this that's totally a synopsis of what you've just said it yeah. is it's fab i know we're lovely. able to do all of this together don't forget though if you do get a memento or two do get social with us because um you could win some treats today i have got four more prizes to give away today for sarah's nice list is the final day of it so do get social if you get a moment or two because you could be in chance of winning 
Absolutely. So the next step is, is to attach the piece that we've done the white piece on to the front of the card. So if you are a beginner, all you need to know is you only adhere this section here because it's the piece that we need to fold up. If you was to glue the entire piece, it would stick on there and it would stop you being able to fold. So we're going to take our glue and we're going to just pop that onto the base here behind, uh, below the uh, score line. So put in our tape there. I'm going to make sure I've got that the right way, which I haven't. There we go. Turn that round. Uh, and then we're just going to lay this. I'm going to make sure it's completely on the edge of that card. So then when we lay it down, it looks like just a normal card blank. And then on the inside, we're going to mat and layer that beautiful cardstock onto our base. So just there and turn that round and add our glue. So I'm using tape pen, you can use your wet glue. Um, it's obviously the quickest way to get your glue down and uh, it just gives you a really strong finish. So I'm gonna pop that in so that leaves that little rim around the side and that's created our beautiful easel card. And then what I would do, I'm gonna bring in our actual box and I'm gonna take uh, the drawer out. So if you take the drawer out of your box, so you've got your box with your Mary on there, we're gonna then flatten the box. So if you push your box to the side, this card is going to stick directly onto the top there. So it means you can stick it down really well. So I'm gonna take my tape pen, I'm gonna go around all four sides to make sure that all the parts will stick along there. And then I'm just going to put a couple more strips through the centre. And then all we're going to do is line that up to our actual base and side so you get the perfect fit. Let's pop that to the side. And I'm just giving that a really good rub just to make sure that that's going to stay on our box. I've done a little bit there that's got a little bit of glue but I'm not going to worry too much about that. That will rub away just using a razor uh, and that creates our easel box. So then when we put our box back in, just slide that back in, that then creates our beautiful easel box. So if I turn that round, this should be the section that you're at now. So you've got your gorgeous box, which goes in and out. So this will come in and out uh, and your easel card. And then we're going to be creating uh, that whole card to finish off our project. That's fabulous. Thank you so much. I'm loving it so far. Anyone else? Isn't it cool seeing it in an alternate colourway as well? Um, so whilst you're catching on up, let me just uh, remind you of that incredible lettering that we've got. I know we've got some more stamping coming up. If you do want to create these cards, I've got a bundle for you. It's large, it's beautiful, it's professional, but it's also a bargain today because you're getting a massive discount as you can see on screen. Let me tell you all the treasures that are in this. So what you're going to be getting in each of these packs that you can see is two stamps. Now these are sizable stamps. I actually had a message um, um, before, I think it was from uh, Sarah, I think it was, uh, saying that she was surprised how large the, the font is on these. Absolutely agree with you. Just to let you know, they are approximately 15 centimetres um, in length, approximately just under that, um, depending on which one you have. But they will fit perfectly on a 15 by 10 um, centimetre card if you wanted. In here, I've got Thinking of You. Keep them separate if you wanted to, like we saw in um, Shelley's makes before, or overlay them. I've also got, thank you so very much. Then we've got some festive ones. I've got Christmas wishes and season's greetings. As well as that, I've got your happy birthday, your Merry Christmas, your hello from me to you, and your happy holidays. But I was just going through them then, I was thinking there's definitely ways you can use them alternately. For example, you could do happy Christmas. So not everyone says happy Christmas. We in our household say, uh, say happy Christmas more than we would say merry Christmas. So you could use those together. You could also go a little bit quirky and do something like hello holidays. So that could be a summer card now, couldn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm going on my holidays. Hello, holidays. How nice would that be for possibly, um, you know, like a photo album? If you're going away on holiday somewhere, do yourself a photo album. Hello, holidays could be your title. There's lots of different ways that you could use these um, kind of mix match together. 
So if you do want to seize the moment, grab them all in one to get the best saving. You can also get two of them for £14 or $17 if you wish. But if you want that mix and match ability, it's a word now, then do feel free to grab the whole set. Oh, I'll sort it out in a minute. And we have also got for you some adhesive as well. So we've got a big amount of adhesive for you today. If you do want to seize the moment because you're running low, you can see we use different types. We'll use two of the all-purpose. Um, you've got two dotty tape pens and you've also got the full um, tape as well, which is what the lovely Fisher has been using quite often. So if you do want to seize it, that's a great deal for you again. I've also got some stamping essentials. This is a great kit if you're just starting out. Maybe this is the first time you've ever crafted anything to do with cards. All you'd have to do is treat yourself to the stamps and grab this and you will be whoo, on your way. We've got for you here your glue tape pen, um, meters and meters worth on this. I'm bringing to you your opaque pigment. And this is your jet black color. We use that a lot. Acid free, so you can use it with photos, etc. Then I'm bringing to you your stamping platform. Gives you a nice crisp finish each and every time. And you can see what you're stamping, which is great for these ones because they're um, the, the, the clear stamps as opposed to the opaque rubber. Then I've got your white stamping cards. Don't forget, if you're running low on stamping cards, you don't need the rest of it. Got an offer on at the moment. Three packs of this for a bargain. Have a look on the website. And then I've got your professional stamping mat. This has got serious squidgeability, and that means that when you're stamping into this, it can give you a nice even coverage. It's also got the sizes on there to make life easy. You don't have to choose which one you want. You're going to get all of this in one place, giving you professional stamping for just £26 or $32. That's saving 25%, unless you're new. Oh yeah, or your platinum, and that means that you're going to get that price at the side of your screen there. If you're brand new, it's first order, you're getting that and an extra 250 bonus points. And don't forget, it is double points day today. We'll find out more about that for now. Have you caught up? Nice work. Let's continue then. What steps next? Right, we're going to do the fun stamping bit now, Yay! which is great. So I found my quick drying ink pads. You do need to do your quick drying and then you need your darkest colour in the pigment. Uh, you don't have to do it, but we're going to do a bit of heat embossing. So it really mm. looks amazing. So we've got our draw box. So that's all ready. We've got our piece of card. I'm just going to uh, recap on this piece of card. We've done this by four and three quarters by five. Okay. So you want a white piece of card at four and three quarters and five inches, which we cut out in that last stage. Uh, I'm going to use my stamping platform. And what we're going to do is use our die, uh, sorry, our stamp to uh, stamp onto here. So first of all, I'm going to do the top part of my stamp uh, and I'm going to sort of work out uh, where I want it. So the first one is going to be, let's turn that around the right way. Um, we're going to have this at the top bit here. Here. Uh, and then I've just, I'm going to make sure, so I'm just going to pop that down. Yep, so as long as I've got enough room on the bottom to fit another one in. Now, the first one we're going to do in our lightest colour. So I've used this and I'm going to use the uh, Oasis. So it's the lightest one in our turquoise uh, 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 range. Couldn't think of the word then to use for that. Mm -hmm. um, our uh, set of three. So our ink pads, anyone that doesn't know, our ink pads do come in sets of three. Uh, but obviously you can mix and match your colours. We have a great set of ink pads on the show today. So if you want to have a dabble in them and try them, then uh, go for those. Uh, you do get an amazing black one with it as well, which is great to add all that extra detail. So we're going to pop that on. So that's creating our merry. I'm going to then just do that again. I always like to give a couple of coats of the uh, ink which just uh, helps it to really stand out and because I'm using this stamping platform if you did want to just use we've got a, a lovely little one on the show today which is just a four inch one yes. and it's great just for your quick stamping which is amazing so that's our first one done and then what I'm going to do is take this off of here I'm leaving my card intact onto my board but this time I'm going to come in and just place this now you can wash it if you don't feel um, happy to put it in the right place as soon as you start but I'm going to just pop that lay that down there and then we're going to pick that one up only because now you could wash your ink but it just means it's going to give a slight 
outlay, you can see how well does that come out. It'd be nice to create backgrounds like really Ooh, lightly yeah. with your ink. It's like your second generation, isn't it, of ink. Oh, I don't want that one. A reflection. Wrong one. We're going then to our darker colour. So I've got my parakeet now. So this is our mid colour. So we're going to do that mid colour. Parakeet is one of the ones that most of the team opt for. It's the mm. colour of everyone's choice. It's so beautiful. So we're going to just pop that into place. So you can see that's now got gone from that lighter one to that darker one. So again, tapping that down. I always like to just do two. It just makes it pop that little bit more pop that into place so that gives us that oh. one so and that looks beautiful on doesn't its own look great. doesn't it so but what we are going to do we're going to bring in our stamp here and we've got that Christmas but with this Christmas one what we're going to do with this is we're going to use it to go right through the middle of our uh, lightest colour one and this time what I'm going to do I'm bringing in a pigment ink pad now the pigment ink pad stays wet up for longer the quick drying ink pads which I've just used are completely dry so so nothing is going to stick to those. So the Lagoon one, which I'm going to use, which is the darkest of our turquoise, let's just take out this one, pop that one to the side. So I'm just making sure I'm putting that, yeah, I'm quite happy with it to go there. It's going right through my centre. So we've got Christmas, I'm thinking just a little bit more over, there we go. And the reason I did the lightest one and then left the last one to do the darkest, it means we can get a really uh, vivid look going through that darkness, going through that lightest colour. Uh, and I love uh, the one we see earlier where um, I can't remember the lady's name, unfortunately, so I do apologise, but that did hers on a separate piece. So you had your main word at the Sheila top. It Sheila, was, that's it? what it was. I do apologise, Sheila. Look how, I mean, that just looks beautiful. Wow, I know, it's so beautiful. But because I want that to, I want to heat emboss, we are going to just do that another coat so that will give that a really good lay down. Make sure it's settled into your um, platform before you go down again and then you get that really gorgeous Christmas going all the way through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some embossing powder. We can take that off of here now and I'm just going to grab myself a piece of card. So a little bit of scrap card just so we can use our embossing powder over the top. So there we go. Sue's asked, are these quick dry inks? Yes, yeah, so with a Merry, I have stamped in quick drying ink. So I'll bring all the ones in that I've used. I've used the Oasis um, to stamp the top one. Uh, and I will show you, let's just uh, move this ink out of the way. So to stamp on to this top Merry, I've used Oasis. Then we've used the Parakeet to stamp the bottom one. And then I've used a pigment ink pad to stamp through. And it means I can do a bit of heat embossing. I mean, obviously you don't have to. If you've got three colours of quick drying inks, they could be any colour. You could have a red, a green, and then stamp through the middle with a black. Yeah. I mean, it would look dramatic and beautiful. So don't think, because I'm just using three of the colour families, that's what you have to stick to. You can use whatever one of your choice and then all we're going to do is use our heat uh, embossing gun or heat gun and we're just going to melt that on top because that's all it's doing it's just melting but what it does do is it creates this beautiful shiny effect Christmas running through that merry uh, which is amazing and this is I mean I know there's talented people out there that can actually write that and they can do uh, brush lettering like that but I also know there's many people like me uh, that can't do that but look mm. at that we get that gorgeous uh, almost sort of dripped in wet paint look going through yeah. which just looks amazing and I love that now the only other thing we're going to do is I'm going to take I've grabbed myself an art liner now so with your art liner all we're going to do is make our edges look a little bit less dull I mean they look nice we could use our inks to ink around the edges but actually we're just going to sort of do a little sort of squiggle and dots uh, just uh, and it doesn't have to be anything other than scribbling yeah. um, but it just aids to what you want to uh, achieve and it draws your eye in when you do things like this it just draws your eye in I mean we do art liners which you can find uh, online but actually uh, just a, a normal pen 
would do the job. That's great. Because it's just a nice bit of doodling. That's all it is, yeah. Just a, a little bit of doodling. It frames it well, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And it just uh, adds just that little bit of extra around the edge. Uh, so that creates that. So that gives us our front of our card. So we've got this to put onto the front. So you can see with all those mats and layers how beautiful that is starting to look. So we're going to, again, take our uh, tape pen and adhere that just to the front. And then we're going to be making some flowers. Now, if you haven't got the Sharon Callis's, um flowers, uh, you can use any one. I mean, we've done plenty of flowers. We've done plenty of quilling flowers. Uh, and we're just going to be making them. And in fact, uh, if I'd realised, because I made a normal... Is that the right way around? Yeah, just check in. Uh, yes, I'm glad you know you're right. Thank you. Yes, no, it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Good job you're looking, Becky. It's all right. Thank you very much. No, no, you're yeah. welcome. Apologies if um, if you don't. I'm glad that you say it though, Becky. I think some. I look at your face and you feel bad for telling me, but don't because I honestly, I'm when you're talking and you're doing it. I think yeah, Becky you... must have seen the merry. Did you see the merry? Yes, your I did. Side? Yeah. yeah, I can't <laughs> see that. So yes, just check. You don't. Not everyone has a Becky in the studio. <laughs> so just check uh, that yours is the right way round. Thank you, mm. Becky. No, you're welcome. <laughs> so, um, and I've lost my train of thought. Oh, yes, if I'd realised I was doing a Christmas one, yeah. I would have gone for, and we do have some on the website, I would have gone for the Christmas roses in our foam fl flower forming foam. Oh, gorgeous, And you could yeah. have actually made a Christmas rose. But we can still do something similar, because I am using uh, Sharon's uh, gorgeous dye here. So I'm going to bring this into place. Uh, we have that gorgeous climbing rose. Um, but if you do have any flowers you can do those and then I've just got some uh, leaf dyes which I'm going to use as well so we're just going to cut those out and do ourselves a little bit of quilling but your box by now should have took shape come together and we're now just going to decorate it so what I am going to do is um, use our um, no I'm not I'm going to use the pinks I'm going to bring in the pinks here the sort of lilac -y pinks so I'm going to bring in the um, pad, uh, the uh, gnomes paper pad. Lovely. Oh, it does say pearl cardstock, so it is pearl cardstock. I didn't realise that. But it's not pearlescent, which is why it no. looks so different. I love this. Yeah. It's very nice. It's lovely. Yeah, it's, it's on your screen now if you want all of those 24 pages. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I think, uh, you know, get these paper pads, get multiple packs because you're going to use them time and time again. Agreed. The cardstock as well is 200 GSM, it's which brilliant. is a, a just an amazing weight to do everything in for your mats and layers, for even making your card bases. So all I'm doing is I'm going to cut, and actually, because I've got the Gemini, I'm thinking I could cut two at once because Ooh. we'll layer two of these up. It'd go really nicely with the vintage, da vintage dairies, I was just about to <laughs> say that. That's the dyslexic part of my mind, <laughs> Swiddling. Could you imagine a, a vintage dairy? Just stamps with cows on. <laughs> Sentiments like you're utterly gorgeous. Oh, uh, I love that. Put that forward. Put it forward. <laughs> I, I won't. What I meant was this colours, the colours you're working with here would go great with the vintage diaries collection as well. So if you've got that at home, this could be a great paper pad to use. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, and, and actually, you, these don't necessarily, because they're contemporary Christmas, you don't necessarily have to use them for, um, uh, for your Christmas either. Agreed, yeah, of course. So, has it done it? Oh, it might have needed another cut, so I am just going to quickly run it through, which really defeated the object, didn't it? So actually, let's just uh, use that to cut that one out. I think if I'd uh, reversed it, it would have worked. Yeah. But um, never mind, I was trying to be uh, quick. But Whilst actually, you're running that through, just to let you yeah. know, so many people are messaging in. Um, Kathleen has said that she tried these stamps um, yesterday when she got them and they didn't stamp clearly. Oh. Have you got any helps for that? Is it just um, maybe because she's not cleaned them as they're new? No, they should be fine. Catherine, what I would say is... Um, uh, 
you could wash them, yeah, give them a wash. Um, also, let us know what you're stamping with them. Um, Great tip. But they, yeah, so I don't really know if you're using our rocker block. I mean, I, I've stamped with my rocker blocks today and the stamping platform and not had any problems with them whatsoever. I've been working with them at home, so they're absolutely fine. So just let me know what you're stamping with them, uh, what mechanism that you're using to stamp Great. down with, and also what inks you're using, because that could be something to do with it as well. Perfect, thank you. So we're just going to cu cut a couple more of these. So whatever you're uh, making, whatever designs you're doing, if you've got the Sharon Callis uh, rose dye, you can be doing this with me. Um, but we're just going to make these roses to decorate the card uh, and add just that beautiful detail. And it's why we needed our... Um, and actually, I've just realised I need to perhaps ask if we could get some um, red liner tape. Do you know what it is? I was doing a project back at the house earlier that's coming up soon, and um, I've left my tool bag at home, so all my stuff is in my tool bag. Ah, but if Tracy is about... Red liner we tape! We just need some Tracy's red on it. liner tape. Red liner tape. The thinnest one. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Right, so that's our four done. So that's going to create our beautiful flowers. So if you are making your the Sharon Callas flowers or any quilling flowers, Sharon's ones, you will notice, have a perforation mark through the centre. And it means that all we do is we pop that, we fold them into each other. Now, because I'm using quite a weighty cardstock, it just means I need to sort of press down to manipulate that a little bit more. But you can make your flowers out of vellum. That would look beautiful. Ah, oh, do you know what? Is vellum. That, is it vellum? It is vellum. Yeah, I've got vellum. No vellum. vellum. Yeah, what about oh. vellum? Vellum and acetate oh, in that Have we collection. got time to make um, vellum flowers, rose flowers? Yeah. Oh. Have you got the vellum there, or do you want me to oh. bring the vellum to you? I've got some. You've got I've the vellum. I've got some. Oh. Oh, I just had that thought, because vellum flowers look amazing. Ooh. So let's do that. So I'm going to just do these two. So we'll have two of those. And then I'm going to bring my vellum pack in. Now, if you've gone for the gnomes or you've seen our paper pads, uh, grab these because they are beautiful and they are going to make amazing flowers. Now, you don't have to make flowers with them. They're great for wraps. Now, look at this. You're getting acetate and vellum, which is amazing. So you can just use Use these let's grab just a sheet of this it doesn't matter that it's printed because it'll look even better uh, vellum die cuts amazingly well the print on these is gorgeous and I have to tell you that you can use your inks on here and get a resist as well because you've got actual heat embossing on here it is so so beautiful so let's cut these I'm going to cut a little piece out here and we're going to cut these through so if you've got any flower dies use them on this vellum because it's beautiful and it's a shame I never thought about it before it's I'm very much like that my head's always somewhere else and then suddenly I'm doing the shows and think oh why didn't I use that but if you've got big petal dies the they the vellum will show up really beautiful on that especially with the pattern and just look amazing you still want the red liner tape yes perfect oh, I'll grab it Lovely job. Yes, so you need a red light. Oh, I've got, look, still got one in there. That's how good. Uh, oh, there we go. Didn't take that one out. So I'm hoping this will have still cut through. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to, well, actually, I think we can. I'm like, no, no, no. And then, yes, we will. <laughs> right, so that's tight. Yeah, there we go. It was only a little bit. So that's how good the Gemini is. We've lost a little petal on there. Oh, no, we haven't lost. Oh, yes, we have. We've lost one petal, but it's not going to matter. We're going to do that again, but we will still use that one. So I love that Tracy has bought me our red liner tape, which is fabulous. So we're going to do these, and you can see just how pretty these are going to be. And let's run that one through. So the reason we use red liner tape is it's less messy to make your flowers. Uh, and all you're going to do, the same thing we just did with the purple ones, when you've got your vellum ones, you're going to just fold them in half. So let's grab that out, give that a little tap. You're going to fold these in half where that perforation is. 
all the way along. Good word, perforation. Perforation, it's it? a good word, isn't it? It's not quite as good as discombobulated. But I love discombobulated. Oh, yeah, too. I love that word. <laughs> that's so me, though, that's why. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't only, only confuse myself, I confuse everybody Other else people, as well. Me too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're just folding those together. Now your red liner tape, what you're going to need, you'll find it on the web, you will need your three millimeter. Now your three millimeter is the perfect size, I've got a new one. You know what, all these crafters out there will understand this, but when you get something new, even a red liner tape, it makes me really excited that I've got a new one. Yeah, completely. <laughs> It's very sad, but I, like know, when you were, I know they will know what I mean out there. It's like when you were at school and you got a new Jotter book. Oh isn't it? my goodness, yeah. I still do that now. I actually got one the other day. It was in the Sow and it was really lovely. It was like, um, it had really pretty butterflies and flowers. Oh, I and, love that. and it was like a double one. It sort of folded into the middle. I did buy it and was really excited and then thought, actually, I could have made that. <laughs> <laughs> do you still find that your handwriting on the first page is the neatest handwriting oh, you've ever always. done? <laughs> Always, yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm glad it's not just me, Becky. No, it's not. <laughs> We're just crazy, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> So then what you're going to do, now I'm going to, I, you could use a quilling tool, I'm pretty sure, yeah I've got a quilling tool, but uh, because some people might not have a quilling tool, I'm not going to use one, okay. I'm going to actually bring in my, um, I might not even do that if I haven't got one, yeah I've got one, uh, I'm going to use my pokey tool, it's buried Perfect. in the back here, so and all I'm going to do is run this around and then we're going to start rolling it up. So if you've got a quilling tool, it will do the same thing. It, what will happen with a pokey tool, it won't hold anything into place. So it will come out, but it'll get you started. Great. And then once you're started, all you do is you roll that round into your fingers. So you keep rolling round. Now what I love about these dies is you can make really pretty flowers just with one of them. So you can see how that's really coming together. You can also shape these as well. So you might want to shape your petals, but you can also carry on adding extra ones to them as well. So just rolling them around. And all I'm doing is pressing the base in to hold that tape in place all the time. But look at that beautiful so flower we're making. Pretty. And then what I'm gonna do is just take this one off and we're gonna start adding to that. Now the more you add, the more you create these amazing flowers. So you can make them as small as you want. And actually this is really looking like a Christmas rose, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely beautiful. But vellum, for me, is one of the best things you can use. And because we've got texture on here with that embossing, it's creating just the most prettiest of flowers. Definitely. Nona has just uh, asked about the vellum, actually, saying, with the plain vellum, what weight is best for making flowers with? Oh, any. Honestly, any. yeah, right from paper flowers. I mean, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so, so pretty. And you've got all that detail in there, which is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And you can really manipulate vellum as well. You yeah. can start sort of pulling petals round. But I mean, that is so, so pretty. Absolutely lovely. And then if we do the same with our lilac one, so we get two different types. So just popping that into place. And again, you're just running it along the edges. And then I just sort of use my nail to go along to make sure that that's adhered properly. And then we can take that out. And then we can turn that round. So what I'm going to do this time is show you how we do it if you have got a quilling tool. Um, and, oh, if I can put that. <laughs> so if you've got a quilling tool that will fit to the end of it, but we might, um, there we go. It will eventually, we'll wiggle it on. There you go. So obviously with a quilling tool, it's a lot easier uh, because you just quill it or literally turn it mm. and it just creates that beautiful tool. Uh, a beautiful flower so you get that and you can see that a bit more that but the vellum ones come out just as pretty yeah and then we're going to do the same with this one so putting on that red liner tape and this red our red liner tape can I tell you goes forever it yeah. like lasts such a long time so don't be fooled by the cheaper ones on the market that are on a big reel because you look like you're getting loads. You've actually got a lot of space in the middle where these ones, look how much tape you've got going on there. 
So pop in those on. Loads of people apparently on social media saying thank you so much for the vellum flower because they wouldn't have maybe thought of doing it. Oh, and it looks fab. Brilliant. It does look really lovely. And you can just keep adding to them. That's what I love about it. Mm. I mean, imagine how many flowers you're going to get out of that one sheet of vellum. So um, it's going to go a long way. Yeah and really look amazing on your Christmas makes. And Ooh. we don't generally think if we've got pattern vellum, and talking about vellum, we've got loads of different, well, we've had lots of different vellum packs on the show in 12 by 12. The amount of vellum flowers you can make out of them is amazing. Oh, blimey. So there we go, there's our oh. um, purple one. So two absolutely gorgeous flowers. They just look really, really pretty. So we've got our flowers there. I'm then going to just cut some leaves. So let's bring in, we've got some green in here, haven't we? Some beautiful green. And we've got our leaves from here. So I'm going to just pull these out. And I'm not going to uh, use that whole uh, sheet of cards. So what I am going to do is just cut myself a strip. So just from the bottom there. And then we're just going to run these through. And in fact, I'm just going to quickly take my Gemini Mini because it's the quickest uh, thing we have to hand. And it means that I can uh, get a few done very quickly. We're going to run this through. And there we go. Very quick and easy. Actually, I could have just done that backwards and forwards and it would have been quicker. And then let's pop this one. We'll just do a couple of those. I love how vivid the colours are. Although it's a pearlescent one, sometimes with pearlescent or slightly sheening cardstock, you, your colours are more muted. But this has got impact, hasn't it? Absolutely. It's beautiful cardstock. Yeah, really beautiful. And I know, I mean, I know that we've got people that absolutely are addicted to our paper pads. Yeah. Um, and I don't blame them because that is so me. Uh, I've just noticed it's got a white core. I know that sounds silly, but I get really excited about uh, paper with white core yes. because if you've got embossing folders, emboss them and sand them back with a bit of sandpaper and then you get the white embossing come through. Love that. So amazing. Oh, Sarah said, how gorgeous would the vellum flower be on a wedding card? Hard. Oh, yes. Perfect. Especially if you've got a winter wedding. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, very nice. Right, so we've got two uh, leaves for each one. We're going to bring our box back in and then we're just going to start to decorate. So we've got our little flowers here. I've also got, so we did put about having some ribbon. So I've got some ribbon. The other thing we do need to do is make a stopper as well. So we're going to make our stopper out of our cardstock. I'm going to bring in the opposite side of this paper. We just clear out all the oh and um, a little tip which I meant to tell you about and completely forgot because again I've left it do you know um, when you take off the backing of your red liner yeah. tape it's very fly it's static yeah um, have a bit of kitchen towel as soon as you lay it on the kitchen towel it sticks to it hey that's a brilliant yeah, tip it's absolutely honestly and it really that's works a great yeah tip. so just have a bit of tissue a kitchen towel I don't know what it is but you know when you're trying to get it off your hands and you like it's in yeah. the thing <laughs> uh, kitchen towel, brilliant. bit of kitchen towel, and it literally sticks to it. It's brilliant. And um, like a magnet. Yeah, that's I brilliant. So Great cool. tip. So cool. Oh, right, I'm just going to, I'm getting myself all messy in here. So um, can we just have a break? Let me clear this up, and then we'll do our step bit and finish off our decorating, and then Absolutely we'll be done. Absolutely and completely. I didn't know these flowers, just incredible. We're going to give you some time to carry on and make those up. And I'm going to just remind you of some of the treats. I've had on the show for you today. It's the white stamping card, your best friend when it comes to stamping. You have got the perfect stamps here. And when we do any of our stamping, we, uh, such as uh, for these boards that we show you, we always use our stamping card. Why? Because it gives you that crisp finish every time. You're not just getting one pack, you are getting three packs. Genuinely, I know it, we're coming to the end of our Christmas event tonight. It's the final evening of double points, etc. But blimey, Charlie, your delivery person is going to feel like Santa bringing those over. They're massive. All of those ones today, all three packs, $19.98 or $29.98. Nice crisp finish every time. If you're platinum or it's your first order, pff, bargainacious price. If you would like to treat yourself to some new plates for your die cutting machine, it is your final chance. And when I say final 
final chance, I mean you've got a couple of hours to grab your hands on them. So with these ones, you are going to be getting your clear cutting plate. So that's your top and your bottom plate. And then for the, each one, dependent on what you get, you will get a free shim. For this instant, we are going to be getting the um, frosted shim with the junior size. And don't forget the junior size you can use with your junior or you can use it with your original Gemini as well for a speedier uh, sign off, if you will. You're getting the free plastic shim there as well. And lastly, you're getting the midi. Now, the midi one's slightly different. You're actually going to be getting four sets of your folders here because the plastic folders come in packs of two so you're getting two of those so four of those and the free purple shim you're going to get on those ones so again depending on what you've got and what you're working with those are the ones that you can get your hands on just over two hours and we are going to have the club inspire christmas event wrap up and i've got to tell you this is a show and a half i don't know what i'm allowed to mention or what i'm not but let's just say i've got things that are 3d I've got things that are surprises and I have got um, collections that are literally a couple of days old, really. So loads of treats coming up for you in that. And then tomorrow you've got Craig for Wake Up Call and that is from 12 p.m. UK time or 7 a.m. Eastern time. Now, whilst you're carrying on and if you've got anything in your basket, do click to check out, especially some of those papers. Loads of you have been buying the papers and card stocks today. We've got some that are so low in stock right now. So give yourself a minute. Make yourself a brew and do check out Yo's Basket and we'll be back for more Craft Along after this about shipping. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Hello, welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. How's your craft along going? Don't forget, you can send in pictures when you're nearly done, even if you've not finished. I'll talk to you more about that um, in a moment or two. But if you do want to get them sent across, we'd love to have a good old nosy. It's nice to share in the community, isn't it? And I, uh, you know, you know I'm a crafter myself, but it's so inspired by other people. So do get those ones sent in, even if you're only part way through. We'd love to see them. We have got to carry on with our craft along. And I just wanted to remind you that we have had the 12 by 12 paper pad with the gnomes on. This is relatively new to us and it has already been extremely popular as i mentioned before some of our paper pads are getting low in stock and although this is relatively new to us it has been really popular on previous shows including today's show so if you have been thinking about it you've been mulling it over today is your day especially as it's your last chance at those double points today so make the most of it it's 12.99 or 15 dollars 95 and as you can see you're getting a vast amount of these but you're also going to be getting double-sided details and designs as well look at these ones oh, i just love them look at their faces oh hello they're so cute um anyway look at the hair on that lady as well it's lovely so yeah you're getting all of these today if you're platinum or it's your first order it's only 10 pounds 39 or 12 70, uh, 76 so do feel free to seize the moment on that one we have got loads more to carry on with and we have got more makes. So let's head back on over to finish off our fabulous design. Let's go to the fish. I'm with you. Yeah, absolutely, Becky. So the last pieces are just all the finishing touches to make your beautiful easel card box. Uh, so we've got our pattern paper. So I've turned my paper over now. I'm going to use the reverse and we've got our plain cardstock. Now, what I'm going to do with this one is we're going to come in and we're going to score 
draw this at two and one eighth of an inch. So two and then one eighth, and I'm just going to score that down. Uh, and then we're going to score across at five and one eighth of an inch. So five and one and score down there. So that's our first one. And then we can cut the others on the guillotine. So bringing that back in, we're going to then cut those pieces off. So onto there and cut that down and then across we've got that at five uh, sorry yeah five and uh, five and one eighths of an inch no that's more than that it's because it's the other way around isn't it there we go we want this piece here so five and one eighth of an inch yes. and that's our piece and then with this one we just need to do this at two inches so two inches and this one is by five uh five and two yes five and two so let's do that i'm just going to make sure okay yeah, so we want it smaller, so we're going to do that one at five inches. Okay, perfect. Just to make sure I've done that to fit in between. Yes, there we go, so Great. five inches, and that will fit as your mats and layers. So that's all our cutting done, uh, and we're going to mat and layer those on the inside. So this time what we are going to use is we're going to use our foam. So your foam on a roll, we're going to do this. Foam on a roll, foam on a roll, <laughs> foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Hey, have you not heard of that, Becky? No, I have, but um, I just was so in awe of your rendition. I didn't want to write I it. I wasn't going to do it, and then I thought, well, Erin just went to sing, and I thought, I can't leave her on her own. And then she didn't carry on. <laughs> They'll all, they'll all be singing it at home though, I can assure you. <laughs> oh yeah, it's in your head for sure. <laughs> so just using that to uh, come up to, uh, to use that as a stepper. Perfect. Create that on the front. And just over there. And then we can stick that inside. So this piece is going to go on to here. Oh, look how pretty that paper coordinates. They go those. great oh, together. Oh, oh, it's just looking so nice. So then we're going to just stick this one down. And again, what I would suggest when you're sticking onto here, yeah. take your drawer out and fold your box down because Good it tip. just, yeah, it really does allow you to yeah. stick that down properly. Yeah, don't uh, fiddle about and think you can't press onto it because you've got your drawer in. Just take your drawer out. So we're going to pop this and make sure that's, uh, that should be perfectly fitted onto the inside there. So that will stand beautifully. And then we're going to decorate. So what I've got here is I've just done a ribbon, put some of my red liner tape onto the back and then pop that into place. So that's just going to decorate the front. Um, and then we're going to, and actually I've just had a thought because I'm going to bring my box back in. We did these two holes. Uh, I didn't do a handle on this to pull it out because I've done, I left the box open mm. so you can push it sort of through. Yeah. I'm actually thinking, just looking at that ribbon, that a little ribbon pull underneath would have been perfect. Um, and actually, oh, I, nice my ribbon's not big enough, but if I cut off a little bit of ribbon there, you could have that at the bottom of your box and it then pulls out. Great. Great idea. Yeah, I've just, uh, just yes. suddenly thought of that because uh, I did think to myself, oh, I didn't do a handle for my box to pull out because I didn't want to hide the merry. And then all I've got is a couple of brads to decorate the box front. Well, I was so, going to say, where you put the holes in the drawer for the brads, you could always attach a more handle-based Yes, yeah, 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 operation. absolutely, yeah. yeah. And actually, these are quite thick. You could probably do the same with these. So I'm just going to poke those through and let those come out so that will hold them in there and the side pieces yeah and it's exactly what these will do but if you did want just the front of your box to be pulled out a little bit of ribbon underneath would That's be perfect idea. oh i can't open these ones up they were definitely open when i shut them close them together there we go so that just creates your little uh, decoration on the front Gorgeous. oh and also what i did do and didn't do beforehand is do the same squiggles 
Ah, with your art liner. Yes, with Great. your art liner. And then it just marries in with, uh, you, I mean, it's easier to do. We should have done this at the beginning, much easier to do um, when you've got it flat. But uh, as I haven't. But it goes to show if you do forget it, it's, it's not the end of the world, is it? Not at all. No, just put it in afterwards just and just it. hold your finger in. And there's no um, artistry in this. It literally is a case of just putting your squiggles wherever you want them. And that will create your front there. So we'll pop that on, pop our box back in. Mm -hmm. Let me all know if your box is all fitting nicely and you've done the, all the uh, correct measurements and I've explained it okay in the end. Uh, and then what we're going to do is, I'm going to just see if we've got any um, uh, glue gel, but I don't think we have. And I haven't plugged in my... Um, so we're just going to use tape for now, but I will reinforce that afterwards. So okay. I'm just going to get the tape to pop down at the side. And first of all, we're going to have our, um, let's put our leaf onto here. And then... Don't forget, you can send in your pictures of your boxes, even if you're not completely finished yet. Do get those sent in. We do love to see them. Um, it's going to be lovely to share. And let us know what you're going to put in the boxes. Have you got an idea? Because I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, that's so unisex. You know, socks for those people that you find it really hard to buy for. You'd get a couple of pairs of socks in that drawer, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, so many things that you Chocolates. could put on there. Chocolates. Always a good gift. So we will have to use our wet glue to pop that on to make sure it might not hold actually because I need my wet glue. Um, but for now, I think we'll be okay. So if I turn that round, there we go. We've got our embellishments. We've got our gorgeous project and it's just slightly different to the one we've done. Ta -da! Let me just bring in my other one. So we've got that one and then you're happy. And that's the great thing about these projects, being able to do your Christmas ones and your everyday ones. But how beautiful. And with the gnome papers, I mean, how gorgeous are they? I L-O-V-E'd that. That was brilliant. Thank you so much. Obviously, you know, demo of the show, it's been a craft along, so, so that is the, the winner. Um, but I think that is just fabulous. And so do so many people at home. I've got so many lovely comments coming through. Um, Sally says, oh, loving the touch with the brads on there as well. And if you would love to recreate this, then let me let you know that there are a few main focals in the alternate colorway that the fish has just done on air. Um, and one of the main areas that we went to was our gnome pad. Now this one, you're looking at a 12 by 12 and they are wonderfully double sided. And let me remind you, you are getting the gnome designs of 180 GSM, but also look, you've got double sided pieces and some of them could be used all year round. You know, you've got in here lovely tartan colours. You've got things in here which you could just use sections of for almost paper piecing in design. Plenty to be done with these, all of those different pages. Today, just $12.99 or $15.95. Unless you're platinum or you're brand new, then you're getting that discounted deal. If you looked at those flowers, um, the vellum ones that Debbie did and you were positively swooning yeah then we're going to want to stock up on our wonderful vellum and I have got a section of, of vellum here for you now this is vellum and acetate that I'm bringing so if you don't know what vellum is let me just grab a little piece of that out for you so you can see it is a translucent material you've got that um, lovely finish with the embossing on there so this is actually textured, a lifted detail, really fresh finish, and then matching in many designs. I've also got your acetate, so that's printed onto them, and this is flat to touch. So you've got different designs there to make those fabulous flowers and windows and kind of anything you can think of to inspire you. So you've got those ones as well. And then the main colors that we use quite a few of. So we did a flower um, using this pad. We did the foliage using this pad we use the blues as well to create some of those background colors so we've used this pad a lot in this design 24 pages on this and it is your pearl cardstock now it is not as high shine as maybe some pearl stocks you might be used to seeing and it's possibly due to that richness of color the saturation of color or impact 
that as sheen that you're seeing runs through all of these colors of which in the pack you are getting four different colors so you've got lots that you can treat yourself to there another one of our focals that we were looking at earlier today was the brush lettering stamps now these stamps oh blimey absolutely stunning versatile usable but again very very professional so just as a quick reminder as to what you're going to be getting in this pack, if you want the biggest discount, you're going to treat yourself to all of them, especially as some of them are very much a mix and match design. So for example, um, I know I said to you before, sort of, hello holidays, you could pair those in together, or maybe you could do... Um, um, Merry birthday. That's not a thing, is it? No. Merry birthday. Uh, you could do hello birthday, though, couldn't you? Or uh, you could do um, hello wishes, for example. Hello wishes. But yes, you can mix and match these. If you get them all, you're saving that um, discount. You're saving nearly £16 or nearly $20 on those ones. Uh, even more if you're platinum, don't forget. So all of these you're gonna be getting, you're getting them together, you can overlap them or use them individually. Do you fancy a bit of inspiration? Oh, me too. Let's have a little nosy at some of the things we can do with this. Oh, that's a beauty. I know, so if you just want to be making your easel cars, look how gorgeous they are. I mean, such pretty designs, use them in different ways. Pretty much what I just did, but using just one of those uh, and then this one I love because it's like using large uh, a large circle card and having it on there I mean how just stunningly beautiful and simple do they look and super easy um, then you've got the one like a bit like with the one we did but doing it in three and having that Christmas going through the middle uh, another one like we did but with the three and that middle one which looks gorgeous uh, I love this one the simplicity of that it almost looks like it should be in a, a sort of um, a rustic kitchen it just looks beautiful uh, really really seasonal uh, and then we've got this gorgeous shaker card I love this use your heat proof acetate that you can uh, stamp and emboss onto it looks uh, it's just great. totally yeah totally amazing again another one that's had that heat embossing on the holidays all the way through uh, which is beautiful uh, and this one I mean look at that how un it's just gorgeous so think about all your dyes that you've got at home that you can use with these stamps there is just so many different varieties Aww. different options that you can do with them and every single one can look different so uh, yeah totally amazing I love those so if you're inspired of course all you're going to really need is the stamps themselves and well things to stamp um, and we have got ink pads here for you now as you saw earlier on in Debbie's designs, if I may just grab this over as an idea, what Debbie did earlier on was use the boldest font as the background and we used the quick dry on this, meaning that when you came in later with the second layer, you could use your pigments. I want to bring you quick dries first. We have got in this collection your Oasis. It's a tranquility to this. Then I have got for you your pale fig colour. I am bringing to you your pink tulip, one of the biggest colours on Instagram at the moment for background, so it's good worth bearing in mind. Frosted jade I've got here for you, that really delicate um, green hue. Then I've got for you your Chinese red, which I will just say will go perfectly if you've got our cardstock with some of the different hues that I brought to you in the chinoiserie. I will just let you know they're extremely low in stock on this pad, so do seize the moment on it if you wish. And then, as well as all of those colours, I'm also going to be bringing to you your noir black. You're getting that for free, so getting all of those, you're treating yourself on that. Not stopping there though, because I want to bring to you your pigments. And again, just as a brief reminder, when Debbie did her demo before, she used quick dry on the bolt and then the pigment on the uh, brush detail so that we could do embossing. And that is what we've got for you here. So the embossing um, or opaque pigment, if you will, I've got your green topaz your Bordeaux hue, the richness in this is great and it's lovely for wines of course but also brickwork, your honey pot, who treated themselves earlier on 
to the beautiful paper pads. Let me show you that because those together, oh, Winnie the Pooh's favourite. They go great together, don't they? Then I'm bringing to you your pine tree for any outdoor inspired pieces. I've got your baby blue, great for sky details. And then I've got your flagstone as well. The flagstone you are getting for free in this. All of those, just $24.95 or $19.96. I've heard a little rumour that you've been very nice. I have. Santa's told me, or should I say, Sarah. We have got Sarah's nice list coming up now. And oh, do you know what? I forgot my antlers before. Popping these beauties on. <clears throat> because we are going to be having a little look at our Sarah's nice list collection. So let me grab out my bag of goodies. Don't forget, I've got one giveaway in this show and three in my next show. And I'm going to go, ooh, got my hands on a bauble. <laughs> Moving on. Um, ooh, oh, I've got a list next to me here. Okay, this is an assortment. So you're getting dies, stamps, sparkle pens, handmade card from the Stitch Fancy um, Rectangle Dies Collection. So one lucky winner is going to get their hands on this one. And today the lucky winner is, brrr, that's a drum roll. Brrr. Michelle knits for you. Yay. Yay! That's amazing. Well done, Michelle. So we're going to go. We're on number 21. 21 wow, of you have got so far of giveaways. on the nice list. Right, I'm going to have to bend down. Uh, we're going to write Michelle. So, me, Shell, and what was the surname? <laughs> it was Knits for You, as in knits, as in I'm a knitter. So, K N I T, Knits it. for You? For You, that's correct. For the number and four. a letter U. And what was the um, prize, Bauble? It was number 11. Number 11. Yeah. There we go, Michelle. You are on Sarah's nice list. Yay! <laughs> I love how you have to go so much further down. It's like when I take my high heel shoes off, just go book. Um, thank you so much for today, Debbie. When are you next on with us? Uh, so I'll be back tomorrow. I've got a jam-packed day. We have a launch party tomorrow. Launch day, not launch party. Yeah. We have launch day. It's yeah. going to be amazing. Tune in 3 p.m. Definitely, you want to keep your peepers peeled for that. I have got another show coming up for you, and it's not two hours long, it's three. We've got the wonderful Sarah joining us, and I have got some very sneaky special deals and offers, including treats that you may well have not got your hands on yet. So do not ye go anywhere. We've got so much more to come. I'll see you in two hours. Bye-bye, my love.